How much will it cost for you to finish your divorce? Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Anti-avoidance strategies, there's not really a lot you can do with it because it's all to do with the system that you're working with. It's about proving income. One party has to be able to support, proving income for both parties, of course, and of course the time that the child is with each party. Those are all the important elements that make up child support and how it's going to work out. Have a think about the vehicle that you can use to possibly help. Cash is king cash, 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 income. Now, we all know that how much child support you have to pay is based on your income. If you keep your income down, then your child support payments are also affected. Now, I'm sharing all of this with you because then you know you've got the heads up with the other side. If you're not spending that much time, you can increase the time. That affects the formula for child support. And a lot of people wrought the system with the time calculation. So keep that in mind. Now during your divorce, during the whole thing, there's negotiations all the way along. But if you're coming up to a mediation or you're coming up to a settlement, you need to be prepared. You need to know where am I at and what does the other side want? It's all about what are you prepared to give? What are you prepared to take? What are you prepared to trade? And how do you go about it? Negotiation does not have to be stressful. You can pre-plan, you can get ready for it, and you can have everything lined up. Give yourself a copy of the top five negotiating tips that you need to know before you go in for negotiations. Woman going through a divorce, the statistics show that you are very unlikely to get back into a home, a roof over your head after the divorce, and you have less chance. So it's much better to fight for what's yours, to use side hustles, to work out how you can save your home. The, have a think about your income. Where does it come from? Where can you get sources of income from? What are the things that you can do? to bring in more income. Where do you want your income to be after this? What do you want it to look like? Can you have a look at some goals? Do you obviously want to be able to put food on the table for yourself, for your children? Do you want them to go to college? Value of your home. You've got to keep the value low. Keep it low, get it low, get the valuers to make sure that the market is in a low point, that you've got lots of obstacles around and therefore your house is not worth as much as maybe the house next door or the house behind you. What is wrong with your home? Get in someone to go through all the things. Contributions is the legal term associated with what did you put into the house? What did you put into your marriage? So have a think about your contributions and what makes up your future need. And therefore that again, comes back to keeping your house. If you've got more of a future need, you can put more of a case together, whether you're in settlement, whether you're in mediation, whether you're going to court, you can put all of this together in terms of keeping the roof over your head. Can you afford to buy your ex out? These are the calculations you need to have a look at. You need to have a look at, do you have any cash that you can buy him out with? What cash will be coming in? Do you have any superannuation or pension that you could use? You must have your divorce game plan sorted. I cannot stress it enough. You must have a roadmap. Your roadmap is all about clarity. It's about your end result. Where do you want to get to? It's about how do you want to get there? Who do you want to help? How long will it take? How much will it cost? What are the steps that you need to incorporate into your divorce game plan to see this through right to the end? You need a divorce plan because you can be really foggy. Divorce is a foggy thing. You lose clarity, there's a lot of emotions, it allows you to stay focused. Stay on the path to finish your divorce. Get to the end. Get to what you want. Need a divorce game plan. If you don't already have one, 
Now's the time to start thinking about it and putting it together. Check out in our link in the bio or check out on our website how you can start your divorce game plan. Talk to you soon.